I think this has been a constant complaint that one has heard from social audits that are being conducted all across the country as well as other reports of how the scheme is being implemented. Delays in wage payments is something that uh, comes up again and again. So this is an old problem and it's a rampant problem and it's something that seriously needs to be addressed. Well, I mean, let me explain that by giving you an example of the delays uh, that we encountered in a village that we were in recently in Rajasthan, where a lot of people, I think almost every worker in that particular village was complaining about delays in payments. And we spoke to the panchayat officials and the program officers who said that the delays are caused by the bank, bank branch managers, who have a completely different line of authority, of course. And when we spoke to the bank managers, they argued that the problem is because uh, it lies with the block administration and the panchayat administration. Um, now, we know from experience that there are problems at the banking level, that there are problems at the program officer level. So it's, it's a combination of both. And both of these are usually a sign of administration inefficiencies. There are also issues of administrative capacity. Um, in this same village, one, the, one of the other reasons that were offered for why there are such consistent delays in payments was that there are only two junior engineers for what were at least, uh, I've forgotten the number, but a large number of work sites. Now the junior engineer has to come measure the work sites when, before the uh, master roll gets closed and then determine how much payment should be made. Um, and because there are only two junior engineers, they can't possibly come every day or they can't even possibly come every two days. So it takes a long while for them to come, do the measurements, close the books, etc., which also causes delays. I don't know if it's a reason for delay or not, but it's certainly, it's creating one more layer. The positive of creating one more layer is that you have direct transfers, it potentially cuts out leakage and it seems like it has cut out leakage in many places. Um, uh, the, the, the somewhat negative aspect of that is partly because penetration isn't so high, banks themselves are dealing with a vast number of people that are beginning to now use the bank and they themselves don't have enough human resources. I mean, I heard a story of of a bank uh, in Uttar Pradesh where uh, there were about 300 people standing outside wanting, waiting for the bank to open so that they could take out their wages on that particular day and the bank manager was the only person there. So he did the only thing he could possibly do which is just not open the office because if he did he wouldn't be able to handle the crowd. Well, at one level, it most certainly does defeat the whole purpose of the scheme. I mean, either it, it to at just very fundamentally, this is clearly articulated as a key entitlement for people, for citizens, for rural citizens of India as part of the NREJ. So it's a legal violation. It's a violation of entitlements. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is that if you are going to work at a work site and then you have to wait for 60 to odd days, sometimes the delays can go into a good 60, 60, 70 days before you get your payment usually you're going into doing manual work of this nature when you're in times of distress so you ought to be able to be given your money when it should be given to you so it does um, it, it does seriously undermine a very important entitlement that the act provides to people um, and therefore it needs to be addressed I think what we also need to look at though is to see whether there is a difference uh, uh, we, we need to look at the numbers more carefully because if ultimately people are getting paid I think let's accept that that's a really positive thing and what we need to do is to see that the payments are done correctly and in on time um, if it if there are delays in payments and eventually people are not getting paid then that's a very big problem that that will completely defeat the purpose of this scheme.